Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a ring pour today, I think. Possibly a ring and ribbon pour. But first, I'm going to show you a couple of dried results. This was the last uh, ring and ribbon pour I did. Um, kind of crazy colors. But I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's going to be really nice when it's... Um, varnished it's dry but not cured yet so no varnish quite yet but um it's quite an exciting piece so that's that and then i have an embellishment to show you do you recall the green swipe i did a little while ago and this is what i ended up doing with it i'm quite pleased with it and the white, the cells continue to grow, as you can see. If you saw that video, they looked more like this down here, and then they just continue to spread, but I'm not unhappy with it. I, I like the look, and the upper part changed as well, but uh, I think it works perfectly for this little embellishment I, I did. I'm thinking of doing another one, but in this orientation, and drawing a larger tiger. So that I may do that next, but I don't think I'll make a video because I'm going to be doing the same thing, but maybe a little less water because the water contributed to the large cells as well. So that's what I have recently. And today I'm going to be pouring over this dud. I, I could embellish it, do some kind of underwater thing, but... Um, I don't like to put the work of an embellishment into an inexpensive canvas, and that's what these are. I always buy them on, on sale, half price, Hobby Lobby. I love to paint on rounds. I stopped for a while because they weren't selling, but I have sold, I think, 10 of them this month alone. So I'm back to painting on rounds. It's great fun to do ring and ribbon pours, especially on them, I think. So I'm going to set that aside while I talk about the colors. I've got violet. I think it was Master's Touch. This was white with a bit of this added to it. I've got some white, but I'm thinking of adding something to that. Two oranges. Um, cat orange deep and a metallic pearl papaya orange. And then this has been sitting around a while. I'm not sure what it is, but obviously it's a magenta of some kind, I think. So I think that'll go nicely. I love that with orange. And I think I'm going to add a little dollop of that to the white. I just don't want the stark white as my lightest value. But I'm pouring on a used canvas, so I'm not terribly concerned about <laughs> how it turns out. Yeah, that's better, I think. And now I'm going to be using this split cup. I don't really have this mastered. I'm, I'm not been crazy about anything I've done, and yet I've seen some wonderful works done with the split cup. So. I'm hoping one of these days something good will happen, and maybe it's today. So here we go. I'm going to uh, I think I'll load up two sides with the purples and magenta, and the middle with um, the oranges. I did the little test to check consistency, and they're all pretty consistent, with the exception of this one was a little thinner. I decided not to add any water to the others because I, uh, when they're thicker, for ring pour, it's better. I'll add this light. No, I'll go with the magenta next. I'm at it. I'll pour some of that in the middle. I 
These things are such a pain in the neck to clean. I, I don't know how people do it easily. I mean, it can't be done easily, I don't think. Oh, I'm gonna pour some of this in there too. Why not? If you hear any whining or moaning in here, it's my, one of my dogs is um, under my table today. She had surgery this morning and um, she's not feeling 100%. but she's quite sleepy, so I thought I'd let her stay in here away from the other dogs, the curious other two. But she's got stitches and um, yeah, it's not good. Okay, back to this. And the orange. I want to try to maintain, uh, have a similar level in all three sections. have my window open because I'm using the polycrylic mix and as always I put the recipe down below and I'll link a video on how I mix a big batch of it but when you use it you definitely want good ventilation because you, you don't want to be inhaling this um, polycrylic stuff All right, anything else? You know, I have some left, um, a little left in almost all the cups. I'm gonna put that aside. After I pour this out, if I feel it's not enough, I can pour into a, a cup and a, apply the rest. So let's get to it. I think I had zoomed out a bit so you could see those paintings. Let me go back, zoom in. There we go, I think the whole thing's in there. Okay. Here we go. Here comes the oranges. Oops, I forgot about saving any for ribbons. But as I said, I do have more in the cups. If I decide to add ribbons, I can use that. Okay. Pretty thick without adding any water. Okay, let's see what happens when I 
I'm straddling my dog. She's She's got her head right where my feet would normally be. But I don't want to disturb her. I like the dark purple area. I'm thinking it doesn't need ribbons. It's pretty, pretty busy and wild as it is. I'm so happy to cover up that, that bomb underneath. I just need to reach the edges there and I like that bright orange stripe but um, I don't need that much of it so Just over that edge and then I'll size up the composition overall. I rather like it. I'm really glad I added a little magenta to that white. The white would have just been too stark and I, I'm happy with what happened there. Okay, now I just want to change up this one swath of the light color there. This is pretty, but I've got to get... Oh gosh, I like this area too. Oh, I can't wait to bring you down for a closer look, but I've got to finish it first. I'm gonna bring the weight of the paint to the center, kind of, and then shoot that over that way. Uh-oh, lay down. She's stirring, and she's got a cone on, of course, so she does not like that. There we go. I think it's quite fun. I actually don't like um, the center of the ring pour right in the center of the canvas, but it's a little off center and uh, I think it works this time. Wow, that is fun, my friends. There's a lot happening here. Let me bring you in for a closer look. Good girl, Kissy. Isn't that pretty in there? Oh, there's so many fun areas. And I, I don't expect it's going to change much. The polycrylic mix works in such a way that once you are happy with your composition, you leave it alone and that's what you'll end up with. It doesn't change on you overnight like so many watery uh, pouring mediums do. Yeah, I think it's quite fun. I'm happy with it. Except this one little part. Now that I'm, I don't like that. And I took my gloves off. I gotta fix that, my friends. What am I gonna do? What shall I do? Ah, 
I should probably leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. It's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Turning off the camera and saying goodbye. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, surprise, surprise, I couldn't leave it alone. I just was bothered by that one little section I showed you. So I, I don't even remember where it was now. Maybe here, there, I don't recall. But I moved it around and then I didn't like the kind of light, big light swath I had there. So I m messed with that some more. Um, oh, it was here because this is where I took a deep tilt over to this side here. This is where that one little kind of squared off section, that's what bothered me. I have this round surface and all these curvy lines and then a sharp angle there in my view. And I'm much happier. I liked it, but now I love it. And it added benefit of getting this thing out of the center of it. The only thing is <laughs> this is a little straight. But I'm done. I've moved it around so much that it's it's starting to um, set up, and I've tilted so much off that really there's it doesn't want to move, and I don't want to sacrifice anymore. I'm 98% happy with it, so I'm leaving it like this, and now I'm truly signing off. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. See you next time.